and welcome back to the happy heart. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this how to get motivated to clean video. This video is in collaboration with the YouTube channel The Joyful Life. She will be doing a how to get motivated to clean video as well. So go over there and check out her channel. She has tons of content from cleaning to mommy stuff to just life in general. Uh, and I just love her channel. I love her energy and it is such a fun place. So after you've watched this video, head on over to Sarah's channel, tell her that I sent you, consider subscribing, and you will not be sorry. I have loved her channel for a while now, and I am so excited to collab with her. I was like beyond excited, you have no idea. So let's get into some of the tips and tricks I use to actually motivate myself to clean. This is something that I have never really enjoyed. It's not something that I'm like, oh, I love to clean, oh. I love satisfaction. I love the idea of accomplishment. I do not like to clean. So here are my seven tips to help you get motivated to clean. The first one is a totally simple no-brainer that you guys know I'm gonna tell you. It's watch some cleaning motivation here on YouTube. This helps me a ton. Before I had a YouTube channel, before I even thought about it, I loved watching cleaning videos. Um, everybody has their favorites that they watch. Uh, lately, I've been watching Tell Vacuum Do Us Part because I just love her. And there are, honestly, like there's so many good ones out there. I was a fan of The Joyful Life um, before I ever dreamed of collabing with her. Uh, there's just a couple of ones that I really enjoy. So find yourself somebody that you like, that you enjoy, that you like their music, and their taste is similar to yours, and um, just hop on YouTube and watch a few. I love She's in Her Apron, I love, um, I enjoy Love Meg, and they just give you so much cleaning motivation that you look around your room and you're like, oh, I really want mine clean like that as well. So that is an easy thing that we can all do that we're probably sitting here doing now. So I have an easy second tip for you. Trick your brain. I know it sounds crazy, but trick your brain. So what I mean by this is do something while you're doing something else. And what I mean, listen to music, listen to something in the background. You can uh, listen to music with earphones, you can listen to music without earphones if it doesn't annoy your family. My biggest thing that I've done for years, um, at least 10 years guys, is my mama is a talker, as you can tell I got it from somewhere. And I will get on the phone with her and I will just pick up my whole house. I might not clean everything, but I can put away some stuff in no time when I'm on the phone with my mom, just talking away, like it's no big deal, I'll just be walking around, pick up shoes here, pick up this here, and so then when I actually go to clean, I'm not spending all of that time picking up all the things. And I have been doing that since my son was really, really small, and that worked wonders for me. So find you a friend that you know you wanna to talk to on the phone, that will just kinda of talk your ear off, or somebody that you enjoy having a conversation with, and use that time to pick up your own stuff. They don't know what you're doing, you know? Pick up the shoes, get all the little things, and that will make a world of difference. My third tip is to get refreshed. And what I mean by this is to get ready for the day and feel put together. Um, it sounds really weird, but, you know, get ready for the day, you know, put your makeup on, things like that. So when you're done cleaning, as long as you're not doing a crazy deep clean and you're just normal cleaning your house, we're probably not gonna get super sweaty. And then you can throw some different clothes on, go out, meet your girlfriends for lunch, afterwards come back to a clean house. But this will really give you some motivation because you will feel so much better and put together. My grandmother, no joke, until the day she died, got up every morning and got ready. You would go over to her house and it was always this running joke of, hey grandma, like you're ready to go somewhere, like you're ready to go out to eat or something like that. And she's like, yeah, I know. But she was one of those people that you got up and got ready 
And when you get ready for the day and you feel like you've done that and you've accomplished that and you feel good about yourself, that is where you can take that motivation and just run with it. So doing one thing usually motivates you to do something else. And feeling good about yourself is going to motivate you to get your space around you feeling calm and organized as well. In with this, I also suggest something like quiet time, prayer time, whatever your belief is. Um, that helps me so much, just whatever clears your mind. So for me, like, you know, I usually kind of have my like Bible in Jesus and just kind of clear my mind, have some prayer, whatever that looks like for you, just get that in and you will feel motivated and better and calmer during the day. If that's meditating for you, um, whatever that calmness is that you need to tap into, so that will absolutely motivate you to go on to the next task that needs to get done that day. My fourth tip is section it off. This is something that my mom taught me a long time ago when I was actually very, very small. And I still remember her telling me, just section it off. And I'm like, what? And she really didn't mean sections, which I think is a really good tip in, in and of itself. But what she was talking about was do one thing in the whole space. And what I mean by that is pick up all the trash, then go through and she would say, okay, pick up all the clothes. And even at eight years old, you know I had some clothes all over the floor. So <laughs> it was just do this one thing and before you know it, the whole entire room is clean. And so whether that means pick up all the dishes or pick up all the costumes that are in the living room, which happens in my house all the time, things like that. And before you know it, your space will be tidied up, picked up, and you will have cleaning motivation to go on and want to polish everything up and get it looking just stellar. My next tip is to set a timer. And what I mean by set a timer is sometimes you really do want to clean up your whole house. Like it needs it, you would really want it clean, but everybody is pulling you everywhere. Let me tell you, this has been happening to me a lot lately. I will link some cleaning videos here, but you really want to get your space clean. You want that sense of accomplishment. Well, setting a timer is the perfect solution because you set the timer, you say, I only have this much time and we got to get to karate or we got to get to church or wherever it is you have to get pulled off to. But whatever you got done in that hour, you tell yourself that that was absolutely good enough and that was absolutely all you needed to do today. And that has been a game changer for me. How we talk to ourselves is a game changer. Instead of putting myself down and saying, hey, you didn't get the whole house clean, I can tell myself, you know what, Lacey? You cleaned for 45 minutes and you got the entire kitchen clean. And that was all you could get done today, but that was wonderful. Look at that shiny kitchen. It's all perception in your mind. And it will make you feel better on those days that you really can't sit and clean your whole entire house like you've wanted to. My sixth tip is probably my favorite one, reward yourself. And who doesn't like a reward? So usually for me, I have a couple different ways that I wanna reward myself, but you have to find out what works best for you and what motivates you. Just like we do with our kids, what motivates them. So for me, I always feel like I have to be going, going, going and have to do some things. I have to get everything done. I have to get everything done on the list. Everything has to be perfect and I don't give myself enough downtime. So I will actually reward myself and I started doing this probably five years ago with Pinterest. No joke, rewards with Pinterest. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I will reward myself and say, no, no, no. You cleaned all of this today and you got all of this done. You deserve this half an hour hour to sit and just scroll through Pinterest, get your mind calm, not think about anything, and that's my reward. And I know that that sounds crazy and dumb, but when I was so busy and I just felt so overwhelmed, especially when my child was very small, 
this was wonderful because I could just let him play. I could be in the room, but I could be scrolling through and just get in my mind back to normal. And that was a huge reward for me. So you have to find out what works best for you, whether it means that you can hit up Starbucks, whether it means um, that you can go get your nails done, whether whatever it is that motivates you. My last tip is something I do all the time and I honestly did not realize I was doing it for a really long time, but it works. Invite people to your house, have gatherings, have a cookout, barbecue, um, have small group at your house, whatever it is, um, a birthday party, anything like that. Invite people to your home because you will clean your home. And I swear it works. And as long as you follow through and actually don't just hide your mess, but you actually clean your home, this is a great motivating tip. Um, for a long time I hosted our small group at for church and that was amazing for me because I knew that every other Friday my bathrooms were gonna get a good cleaning. It didn't matter the Fridays that people weren't coming to my house, but that they would get an okay clean or something like that. But I knew that I would absolutely clean my bathrooms before company came and I would clean them well. So that was motivating for me. And I loved it because I knew that then I would mop my floors and things that I did not like to do. So this is a great motivating tool, at least it has been for me. Thank you guys for coming over today. I hope these tips and tricks were something that you could kind of put in the back of your head and when you were having those lack of motivation moments like I do on the daily, that you can get one of them out and say, hey, I'm gonna try this or hey, I really need to get this done so let me try that tip that Lacey was talking about. Let me know how they work for you or if you guys have any other tips that you think are really good because we should all share the motivation for sure. Thank you guys so much and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications and go over to Sarah's channel and check her out. I know she has amazing um, tips and tricks that she's gonna share with you guys as well and I love the idea of getting somebody else's perspective on the same subject. So head on over there, tell her I sent you, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.